Okay, so I want to talk about the newest uh, champion that will be released to Paladin, that is Yagra. And my take, what I think about uh, the Worm uh, Mother, the, the new champion. I think the special thing with uh, Yagra is that her make her different from all the other champions is that she is she gonna be play as a, more like a raid boss. For example, if you play Onyxia in uh, uh, World of Warcraft, and obviously you can control her. She's like the first time you can control a raid boss that you are the raid boss in your team against the other team. And she, I, 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 many people may think she's overpowered, and I, I think that is the point with her. She should be overpowered, because she should, she should, should be like a raid boss. And I think it's also very good for the enemy side to have an, uh, to have an opponent that is much stronger, because it's a team. For Honor is a team. Uh, sorry, Paladin is a team-based game, and if you have a character that is so strong that you have to work together to defeat, uh, to win the match. Uh, obviously you have to fight against the other team, team player too. So it's, it will be a much more hyped and more, uh, more interesting opportunity for this game, I think. So I think if we see the thing with a positive light instead of a negative light to build up more a uh, more unique feeling to Paladin uh, then uh, maybe as Overwatch for example Overwatch is a, a good game uh, but I think it's in good to see try to experiment on um, things to make it more interesting uh, and obviously, if you, I think, if we uh, always uh, make uh, heroes or champions weaker, just because we do not want any sh uh, challenge, I think that is wrong. I think we have to uh, learn from a new uh, champion that is different in uh, Paladin, and to see from there how we will defeat it. And how we will, how we can work together in the game, uh, and so on. I, I, that is where I really think. I really think we have to see Yagra in a different light from the other champions. I don't think we can have every champion the sim similar. Uh, I think some champ, some champion, like one champion, have to be more powerful than others to make it more special. And to like to give you the power when you play her, or give the chance to learn how to defeat her if you play against her. Um, so it's been more like you. Is it, yeah, as I said before, it's like you control a raid boss. That you control a, a a boss, a big, very powerful boss. And one of one of her attacks is that her super move is that she will drone you to her, and. Uh, and then finish that, finish up with eating up you with one attack. So that you can do is that you can attack her when she do that super move. So you can break the spells. You can break. Uh, so first you have to break her uh, like a shield to interrupt her super move. And I think that is the point that is very important. That when uh, so that team, uh, your, t your team, work together to make to help your teammate quickly to def uh, to break that uh, interrupt that attack I think that is very uh, uh, important thing and that also cool thing with her is that she when she is standing she cannot move uh, sh uh, she can only m when she can move but she cannot attack when she move we can she can spin around to um, uh, roll like a rolling wheel around on the uh, plane uh, but she cannot do extremely much damage when she is moving, but she do much more damage when she is standing. So that is where the trade-off with her is that she is going to do lots of damage when she is still, but when she moves she don't do as much damage as the other champions. Um, so it's, she is almost like a, like a platform, like almost like a weapon you use for a platform. Um, as like similar to that more maybe uh, 
so it's, I think she's brought there for team organization for make the team more stronger and to for the opposite team and your team to, le to work together more uh, in the game because now you have to work together if the other team have Yagra and hurt their team uh, to defeat them because if you don't work together if you don't everybody is split out and uh, left and right and probably the team with Yagra will win all the time but if the team work together they have a bigger chance to defeat the team and Yagra so I think that is the biggest thing with with Yagra that they have to work together that is I think that is the good thing the positive with Yagra uh, to, to train your team to be more more team based player team than just play the game uh, for this these are differences with um, it's a difference is to play online game with other players but you don't play with them you just play online with other players is the other thing is this is different to play with other players and to be a team with the players that is a different thing so so when you see for example in the game when you the team is totally organized they attack you from different direction they know exactly what to uh, where do you, where your team are they know to plan your attack from the above or left or right they know exactly what attacks for example as a good player team in example smite or in uh, for honor uh, or in uh, overwatch or in paladin or call of duty or counter strike or any kind of game that you play play online with many people all world of warcraft uh, so i think yagra is uh, is a uh, like is that good the best thing to say is like a is a raid boss that you control and raid bosses have minions around them sometimes to help them to make it more harder some raid some boss in video games are extremely hard to defeat for example game games as dark soul or uh, neo before the updates and i think that is different now that you control that raid boss and your teammate is almost like a minions but then the person to have control over uh, Yagra is the person who controls the raid boss. And obviously then the opposite opposite team have to work together to defeat uh, Yagra and, and the, the others uh, in, in a match. And obviously Yagra will also be a... The most faster Yagra spins with her uh, wheel when she is crawled up. Uh, she, because she is uh, like an alien uh, centipede, she's almost like more like a, I think more like a centipede, like an a, a alien centipede. Um, is she is very different look comparable to the other f champions before, for example Tiberius um, and all the others. So yeah, I think. I think that's good. I, I, I really, yeah, I really look forward to play uh, or play with uh, Yagra or play her or play against Yagra, uh, and I really hope they don't debuff her, make her weaker, because I think it's good for uh, this kind of game to have a, a strong challenge, uh, because that is the way to tr make people make players better. But obviously, if you give up. Because something is too hard, then you will never win the game. That is obviously if you the more every time you get defeated, and you try and try again, you tr and you learn from your mistake why you are defeated. What is the reason? What kind of thing can I do to win in that scenario in the game? I think in the end, maybe five years later, or who knows? Then you maybe win the game. And I can say that, for example, when I play Niho. I lost many, many, many times when I played the game. Like there was not just every boss. I maybe died 60 or 100 times against the boss. Uh, but sometimes you just have to do, go up again and try again, 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 again till you win. Because that is the only way to be better in a game. To just learn and obviously see what what kind of weapon should I change. What, what is better to upgrade. What should I learn from the f second boss to don't have the, much uh, hassle with the second boss? 
and this kind of thing and I think that is the thing with Yagra is that we have to see because obviously Yagra is very different from all the other champions but how can we make Yagra how can we defeat how can we learn for Yagra how to defeat her uh, in a in a way that we will, that she will not make be a threat uh, as a big threat uh, to make it uh, to defeat her and do not have to go the easy way to just every time a champion is too powerful that we make it uh, that we make her like the, uh, all the, all of the other champions in in paladin so I think that is very important to just let her be. Uh, the champion she is, and just learn from the uh, from the f failures and learn how to defeat her, and do not just make her, uh, yeah, uh, if, because if you buff her uh, or you debuff her, you make her weaker. You she will be a total waste of a character. She's gonna be totally un 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 uninterested, interesting. And I think when you have a character that's so different and so special you have to have you have to make it stronger because if you take it away you will make a very boring champion uh, and that is very uh, important with Yagra um, so I and I think she will come out uh, next month uh, probably she, they probably will first come out on PC and then they will come out on the consoles uh, yeah, and this kind of thing. So that is everything I really want to say about my take on Yagra, the new uh, champion. And yeah, bye.